Hi! Um, so I don't really have anything fashion-y to talk about today, but it doesn't really matter because I decided that I really like to make video blogs, and um, so I'm going to make one today, regardless. I guess most fashion-y thing I can talk about right now is, um, you can't even see it, I'm wearing a whoop, Charlotte Russe top. Um, <laughs> funny thing about Charlotte Russe is like, anytime you go in there, you can tell that they really, really want to be Forever 21, but they kind of like cater more to the skankier crowd, and um, they're doing a really good job of that, so basically they'll never be Forever 21, bless their little hearts, but um, I mean, they're doing a good job because obviously people like me buy their stuff. This top is like $4. I can't pass up a bargain, regardless of who makes it or how trashy it is, whatever. So, okay, what I did want to talk about today, though, is this book that I got. I went to the library yesterday. Best thing I've done in a while. I had, like, an $18.50 fine because I forgot I had this book out, so they just, like, charged me for it, whatever. So I've been avoiding the library and just haven't gone there. But it's summertime, and I'm not taking any classes or anything right now, so I had, I guess I just sort of figured that eventually I would need to go to the library, so might as well be time to pay the fine. But I got this book. It's called Funny and Farsies by Feruza Dumas, and I'm probably saying her name wrong, but I mean, cut me some slack, whatever. <clears throat> Great book. Um, a couple of weeks ago, probably like a month and a half ago-ish, she came to my college and um, sort of gave like a somewhat of a lecture about her book, and after hearing her talk, I decided immediately that I had to go get her book. Unfortunately, I was avoiding the local library and the college library it was taken out of, obviously because so many people had heard her talk and she was just like so incredibly compelling. Mm -hmm. She is probably one of the funniest people I've ever heard in my life. And the book is about, well, okay, Feruza is from Iran and her family immigrated here for the first time when she was seven. And the book is essentially stories of her family's transition to American culture and the way of life here. And it's just, it's just incredible. I mean, she is so funny and it's really bizarre. Um, not everybody can be funny both in written word as well as the way they talk. And she's funny both ways. It's crazy. And I kind of wish that I had like pulled something out um, to be an example of how funny she is, but I didn't, and I don't want to, like, peruse the book right now. I already made this video once, and I went over 10 minutes, and so this time I don't want to go over 10 minutes because my computer just shuts me off, and so I want to get everything done in time. Um, but definitely go get it from your library. It took me one night to read. It was hysterical, and yesterday my boyfriend and I, we both had the day off from work. Well, the day off. Oh, we both had the night off. And so we went out to eat in East Lansing. East Lansing is about 45 minutes away for us. So I read the book out loud to him the whole way there and the whole way back. And he's really not like, he's not a reader. He reads magazines about cars. And so just that he was entertained by it speaks volumes. And it was really, really yeah. fun. So I wish that I could communicate how funny that was, but I just can't. So you'll just have to take my word for it or go get the book. Definitely go get the book, though. It's amazing. Um, let's see. Today is kind of kind of miserable. Um, it's Okay, first of all, I have to tell you, it's, like, beautiful looking outside. The sun's out, and it rained a couple of days ago, so everything is green. And, I mean, it's spring, so there's all those pink trees everywhere. But it's, like, 40 degrees outside. So even though it looks pleasant, it's really cold. But anyway, misery day. So once a week, I always do one day where I eat nothing but fruits and vegetables, which is probably really, really good for me, but it still sucks because I want to eat other things. But I make myself do it once a week, whatever. Usually I do it on Monday um, because Mondays suck anyway. But yesterday I had the night off, which is uncommon, so we decided to go out to eat, so couldn't do the fruit and vegetable thing. But today, I had some mango for breakfast, and I'll probably have a salad for lunch, and whatever. But I always feel better, like, the next day after I've done it. Like, I just feel, like, completely cleaned out. And I should probably do it for more than a day, but once a week is enough for me. So, okay. Um, what else have I been up to? Well, I've been working on a drawing. I already told you guys about that yesterday. But um, for the past couple of days, I've been just perusing lookbook looking for pictures that are like really inspiring to me and just 
kind of drawing them. I thought that it would be really cool if by the end of the summer I could have like a lookbook of my own, like just a sketchbook full of um, pictures that I've drawn. It'll be a lot of work, but I think it might be fun. So I'll just show you what I'm working on right now. Um, it's a girl and she's wearing like a, uh, a stewardess uniform and she looks really cute. And I'll show you the picture right now. See how well that shows up. Yeah, that's not bad. But, um, I'll show you, hopefully I'll be able to show you the picture of the actual girl when I'm finished, but, um, it's turning out okay so far, so, I'll shoot. Okay, and the last thing I remember I wanted to talk about, this was a little bit more important to me, because I guess I'm not very in tune with the news. We don't have a TV or anything, so I don't watch the news, but I do listen to NPR, and, like, I feel like NPR is, like, rap for intelligent people. Um, I could just listen to it all day long. But I just recently heard that a ship went down because, and, like, killed, like, 46 people because of a North Korean torpedo. And I guess it just got me thinking. And this isn't, like, original thoughts or anything close to that. I mean, I'm just basically copying other people. But it really got me thinking that, like, I mean, hate is such a waste of time. And... If people got to know each other and really knew each other on a personal basis, I think it would be easier to accept our differences. Um, actually, that's really funny because the Funny and Farsi book I was just talking about is that was one of Feruza Dumas's um, big things when she was talking to us is that our commonalities far outweigh our differences. And I think if people got to know each other, um, it could put, like, a, a face and a personality to the things that we don't agree with. I mean, I guess, like, the big things that we really, as, like, nations have problems with are religion. I mean, that's a big thing that people war over. Um, but also, you know, like, ethics and morals and our values and whatnot. And I think that if you actually knew somebody who um, who was different in a way that you disagreed with, if you knew them and could put a face to that difference, it would just make us accept each other so much more. And um, so I wanted to do at the end of each of my blogs, um, whether written or video blog, is always ask a question that will open up something for me to get to know you and for you to get to know me. Because I'm one person and it's really difficult for me to change the world, but if I can do one thing to change something between myself and my readers, then, I mean, that's something. So for me to get to know you and for you to get to know me, we're opening that up and decreasing hate, which is important. So today my question is, is really, I was thinking, what makes you want to blog? I think that a lot of my readers are bloggers, and so most of you can answer this question if you can't, I'm sorry, I'll have something new tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But I'll answer first, and then I would, I mean, I would just love it if you guys could respond to this. But um, I have a blog because I feel like I have a creative mind, and everything swirling around in my mind um, ends up on my blog, and it's like the perfect channel for my for my creativity. And so my blog is a giant mess. I mean, it, it includes my rants and my raves, and then these narcissistic pictures of me sashaying around in... Um, the clothes that I own, but um, it's just this this place where everything that I think and I can feel um, can can go and just be a very representative of me, and so that's why I have a blog. So um, please please tell me why you have a blog. I'm really interested to see why other people use the internet to express their thoughts and feelings, and um, I guess that's all for today. You guys have a really great day, and um, I hope you guys have as beautiful weather as I do. If you don't, I'm sorry. If you do, enjoy the day, and I will be back tomorrow.